morning, got my coffee, grapefruit. Still need to build the nightstand we got at Ikea. Lauren's trying to blow up my Pilates ball. Is that good? It's good. How cute are these Pilates socks? They have little strawberries. And I got some new Pilates gear from the Peach Club. Little resistance band and a ball. I just finished my workout. I did a Peach Club workout. It's free on YouTube. Same girl who sent me the Pilates gear. I honestly love her energy. She's just like really motivating and kind of to the point, which I like. It's not like super upbeat. There's no music or anything. Doing my makeup on the floor. I have a strawberry mush. I ordered a restock of the road blazing milk. I love this stuff. Got ready for the day. We've had a little productive morning. Oh, I dropped my lip gloss. Here's my outfit. Free people set. I'm gonna go drop off some film. I finished a roll of film yesterday that I'm very excited about. I haven't shot film like lately at all. I've actually been waiting for a new camera that's coming in November. I ordered it in February and even before that I waited like two years to pull trigger and buy it. So I've been kind of just like waiting and looking forward to that but I still want to get some film on an actual film camera. The camera I got is like a film simulation kind of camera. But we're gonna go drop off the film and get some lunch because I'm starving. Here's the set. So cozy. It's crazy. That was a very successful film trip. Sometimes that film place takes forever. Like one time I waited two months and they told me today I would get my film either today or tomorrow, which is crazy. So I'm very excited about that, but also nervous because that film roll we brought to Kentucky and Chicago and I forgot to tell TSA to hand check the film. So good chance that the film roll is messed up, but we'll see. I guess we'll find out together. I also stopped into a little art store. I've been like wanting to do something with my hands, like some type of art. I might start like crocheting or something, just something to do with my hands, distract me just for fun. And I was gonna get like paint by numbers and they didn't have any. So I just got pastels and we're gonna play around with those. This is my little setup. It's on a pillowcase because I'm gonna make a mess. Pastels, a pencil, and my favorite kombucha right now. This is so good. Isn't she the cutest patootis and little boo boys? Let's get everyone to see what you're making. It's a strawberry. Okay, for my first attempt, just for fun, I think it's honestly kind of cute. The point is not to make anything good, it's literally just to have fun and to do something with my hands to get off my phone and just to be creative in some way. I wanna do like more stuff like that. I just need to figure out what I need to do. I just need to like maybe do a little more research before I go into an art store, but these are kind of fun to play around with and I'm sure I'll get better at it. It's having kind of like a weird mental health day, so this was like kind of nice. I feel a little better and I think I'm gonna film right now because obviously the sun is in here and that always makes me feel good. So I'm gonna do that. I need to film a story for this base. And Lauren went and got me some flowers. We started our morning building this nightstand from Ikea. I'm gonna set it up and show you guys. 
today I'm going to make a matcha. You don't have a whisk. So you're using a fork. Okay, here's the nightstand. I am so done with Ikea. You guys, I bought a glass topper to go on top of the nightstand and I bought the wrong size and I just do not want to make another trip to Ikea. Like, I'm so done with Ikea furniture, but I think this is cute for now. Definitely temporary. I just wanted something to replace the Home Depot box. Also, this is my fall read that I'm very excited about. I got it a while ago and it's on my list. I have two books I need to finish and then I'm going to start this one. Alright, here's how it looks. I put books I want to read on top, journals, my glasses. Okay, one question I get all the time is how I get my film on my phone. So when I went to go drop it off, they do the developing and they scan it and send it to you through a link and you can download it and put it on your phone. My film turned out so good. You guys look how insane that is. There was only four photos that got messed up, so I'm feeling very lucky. I got a package from Cezanne and Dulce VD yesterday, so I'm filming a quick little try on and I'm gonna style the two pairs of shoes that I got. They're so cute. I've been really wanting a metallic pair of flats. I just think they're so fun. I'm styling these with this outfit, all pink. And the second pair are these loafers, which I love, so... I'm so excited about these. I'm just sitting on the floor editing everything now, but I thought I'd give you guys a little story time because I didn't vlog yesterday. I took the day off because that night I passed out in the bathroom. You guys, I have, it looks like I have a hickey. Like this is the only reason I'm even telling you guys because you all are gonna think I have a hickey on my neck. Like I went to the bathroom because my stomach was really hurting and I passed out either from pain or from just being tired because it was 4 a.m. I actually locked the door so I like was able to wake up and lock the door but I was so confused. I was like, what happened? Why am I on the floor? <laughs> and like I didn't know if this was a rash like from something else. Like I was just so confused but I have a bruise on my hip and like on my nose as well. But yeah, diary of a clumsy girl. Also like Two weeks ago, I woke up early and I was brushing my teeth and I didn't want to be loud so I kind of like started running to the bathroom and I hit my head on the staircase. This is not a staircase for a clumsy girl. When we toured this apartment, I was like, babe, I don't know. I don't know about that staircase. Like it's cute. It's so aesthetic, but do I actually see us like using that every day? Because I knew I wanted to put the bedroom up there and honestly, I'm used to it, but hitting my head on it i swear i gave myself a concussion like it hurt so bad and now i flinch at the staircase i just keep hurting myself and it's honestly embarrassing lauren's taking a phone photo for me because i had a vision well, break this <laughs> oh my god is it good so good try to lean back <laughs> i just know the angle is gonna get my face Okay, here's the outfit, the flats, free people jacket with Levi's. I think we're gonna go to dinner. I really wanted to go see It Ends With Us, but all of the seats are taken. I feel like that movie's been out for like two weeks, so I'm kind of shocked it's still like a packed theater, and I feel like that's not the kind of movie I want to see with a bunch of people. I always cry at sad movies, and I have a feeling that movie will be a tearjerker. Then maybe I'll just wait till it comes out like online or something. I don't know, I wanna go see it and I also love going to the movies. I'm just getting California burritos from the taco stand. The go to. And we're gonna watch the summer I turn pretty. <laughs> Apples. Apples. I made a fall reading list with the photo Lauren helped me take. And I'm gonna post it on my Instagram, but here's a sneak peek. These are the two that I have already. I actually have like four of these. Someone responded to my story and said this is like so good. So I'm excited to read it. I think I've started this before, but it was a while ago. So I'm excited to read it now.
Hi guys, it is Saturday, so I haven't vlogged all day. I've honestly just been giving myself a slow morning. I feel like I needed a morning to myself. I've just been in like a mental rut this week, like nothing serious, but I've just been like kind of in a rut and I can feel it coming. And usually when I feel that way, I just need alone time. So that's what I just had and I feel instantly recharged. I am 100% one of those people. Like I recharge by being alone. I don't recharge like being around other people, but I just did that. Lauren's at a draft with his friend. I just listened to a podcast, did my makeup. I had some new products to try, so I'm like, feeling so much better and I'm really happy with how my makeup turned out. He did. Teddy, time to wash your paws. Come here. Stay. Sit. Give me your paw. Sit. Sit. Come here. <laughs> it's okay, Teddy. <laughs> we just went to the grocery store because I am getting on my health grind. I'm gonna try to eat an anti-inflammatory diet. Spinach, Dijon, and honey mustard for my salmon. I'm Dinner tonight, I'm gonna make salmon seasoned with coconut sugar, honey mustard, and I'm gonna make this bone broth right now. Hey guys, it's Tuesday, so I didn't vlog all weekend. It was Labor Day weekend and we were dog sitting also i just wanted to focus on my health i feel like after my fall last week i was just feeling so weird like i just did not feel great so i wanted to just give myself a little break we also went grocery shopping i'm trying to do an anti-inflammatory diet which i've done for three days now and it's been good i'll show you guys some recipes i've just been making salmon for dinner like chicken meatballs. I just had a coconut yogurt bowl, um, chicken sausage. I might switch up the dinner tonight, but I just feel like after having COVID and like for my hormones, I just want to make sure I'm taking care of my body and I have not been eating well. I've never like done a diet, but I am trying to hold myself accountable for the month of September to keep up with this just for 30 days. I think it will be really good for me. So we're doing that. I also cut out coffee, which I did last year, literally at this time. I love coffee, especially like in the fall. I always crave coffee, but coffee hates me. Like I don't think my body can handle too much caffeine. So I'm trying to cut that out again. And I'm at that phase. I'm so exhausted. I swear, last time I did this, it was like two weeks later, I felt amazing, but like the in-between, oh my gosh, I'm so tired, so I feel like that's also <laughs> kind of why I haven't been vlogging. I'm just feeling tired and like really mellow. I don't feel interesting, <laughs> but I just had a meeting with my management that went well. I always feel motivated after those, so I'm going to self-tan. I have a couple email things to send them and I want to write down a list of ideas for September. I honestly have a good amount, but I want to organize everything and like maybe make a content schedule. I've never done that before, but I feel like it would be helpful for me. I also got two more books I wanted to share. I've been wanting to read Blue Sisters and I found this one, so I got it. And then this is actually like a poetry book. I just loved the cover. I thought it was so cute. We're trying to find more like coffee table books, books we can use as decoration, but it's kind of cute. It has poems and film photos. Also, I'm on book three of Avatar, and I'm so bored. This is what I was thinking about this series because the first book had me hooked. I think I'm a little bit more on the romance end of fantasy books than like the action, like war end. And the third book is just like, all war but i finished this book i love this series and i started daydream by hannah grace because i just needed some romance in my life this one is honestly really cute i feel like this is my favorite writing style she's ever done and play along was probably my least favorite in the series but i still really liked it here's the sultana i used i showed you guys in the last vlog but in case you missed it 
I just use this one. Here's my lunch. Amy Lou meatballs, sourdough, and some strawberries. Filmed a video going through my fall jeans. Turned out really cute. I'm gonna post it on Instagram and TikTok. I feel like I've been in this sweater this entire vlog. And I also feel like I just keep posting in it, but I just love it. It's so soft. And unfortunately, I think it's sold out. But if you ever see a sweater on Verge Girl, you have to buy it. When they have sweaters, they're like the best sweater you'll ever have in your life. And you'll keep it forever. I have another one that I would always wear in my vlogs. But this one has replaced it for now. But I just finished editing that. I need to put all my jeans away. And then I'm gonna make dinner. I'm gonna make salmon. We went and got more salmon. So I can show you guys my salmon recipe. So sunny. I got the package from Chow Chow Vacation Club. The new collection. This is an Australian brand that I'm just obsessed with. Like they have the most unique designs even their tags are so cool they're so comfy and i love the little tag and okay one day i will be an aesthetic chef but for now i'm just not this is what i season it with and we're gonna put it in the air fryer stunning 